Hi guys, it's Miss Ham. I know we're out of school for a little while and we are certainly going to miss you. So I just want to take some time to read a story for you. This story is called, Can I Bring My Pterodactyl to School, Miss Johnson? That's strange. I've never heard of a pterodactyl at school. Can I bring my pterodactyl to school, Miss Johnson? Is he feeding that pterodactyl? Can I bring my pterodactyl to school, Miss Johnson? Can I, please? If I brought my pterodactyl to school and I was playing on the monkey bars and Butch McGurgle climbed up next to me and threatened to punch my lights out if I didn't give him my dessert at lunch, I wouldn't have to worry. Cause my pterodactyl would be there on top of Franklin Elementary watching. And he'd swoop down fast and grab Butch McGurgle, fly him high into the sky and drop him ker plunk right in the middle of the preschooler sandbox. My pterodactyl would be the best playground monitor ever and Butch McGurgle would never ask for my dessert or anyone else's at lunch again. Can I bring my pterodactyl to school, Miss Johnson? Can I, please? If I brought my pterodactyl to school and our school band was on the 50 yard line during homecoming game playing our school song, Franklin Elementary, We Love You, and it started to rain and our uniforms were beginning to get wet and the tuba was filling up with water, my pterodactyl could spread his wings wide and cover us all. My pterodactyl would be the biggest supersized umbrella ever. Then we could finish playing all seven verses of Franklin Elementary, We Love You. Can I bring my pterodactyl to school, Miss Johnson? Can I, please? If I brought my pterodactyl to school and there was a blizzard and our classroom was freezing, even though Franklin Elementary's furnace was working hard and we were all turning blue with everyone's teeth chattering nonstop, my pterodactyl could wrap his wings around us, all of us, around you too, Miss Johnson. Then we'd be comfy warm. My pterodactyl would be the coziest, snuggliest blanket ever. And we would never have to worry about freezing in a blizzard again. Can I bring my pterodactyl to school, Miss Johnson, please? If I brought my pterodactyl to school on Valentine's Day, I wouldn't have to make a valentine for every kid in the class like I have to do now every year because I would just get a long piece of white paper and print on it in red paint. And my pterodactyl could fly it over the playground. My pterodactyl would be the highest flying mail carrier ever and all the kids in the class could look up and read it. It would be the most awesome Valentine in the world. Can I bring my pterodactyl to school, Miss Johnson, please? If I brought my pterodactyl to school, Mr. Rockbone, our science teacher, wouldn't have to take us on a field trip to the museum to study prehistoric animals like he does now. Look at all those no signs, including a no sneezing. Cause my pterodactyl would be Franklin Elementary's very own Jurassic dinosaur exhibit. My pterodactyl would be the most kid friendly dinosaur ever. And my pterodactyl wouldn't have signs on him saying, do not touch, no climbing. My pterodactyl would like being touched and climbed on. Look at that sign. It says wing finger. 
can I bring my pterodactyl to school, please? Miss Johnson, can I please? If I brought my pterodactyl to school and our class won the state spelling championship this spring, which we could, maybe, we wouldn't have to drive in the school bus all the way to Washington, D.C. for the finals. Cause my pterodactyl could fly us there. My pterodactyl would make a terrific first ever flying school bus. Then you wouldn't have to worry about any of us, especially me turning green and getting sick on the school bus. Can I bring my pterodactyl to school, Miss Johnson? Can I please? If I brought my pterodactyl to school those last days of the school year, right before summer vacation, when our room gets really hot, sticky hot, and we get really smelly, stinky smelly, especially after running on the playground, my pterodactyl could flap his wings fast and be a giant fan. My pterodactyl would be the coolest fan ever. And our room would get so cool, we'd probably have to put on sweaters, maybe even mittens too. But Miss Johnson, the most important reason for bringing my pterodactyl to school, the one that counts the most, is that yesterday I got this letter from Unbelievable But True Fantastic Science Fiction Magazine saying I've won second prize in their Win a Prehistoric Animal Contest and second prize is a pterodactyl. I know my mom won't let me keep a pterodactyl in my room unless I'm there. Hey, wait a second. I read this letter wrong. I didn't win second prize, I won first. Oh, wow, awesome. Can I bring my woolly mammoth to school, Miss Johnson? Can I please? I hope you enjoyed that story. We will be missing you here at school and look forward to seeing you again soon.